JavaScript evangelist. In the last videos, we learned how to populate database into our Firebase, as well display post data from our Firebase database into our Angular project. But in the coming videos, we are going to change this database and we'll learn more about denormalizing your database. That is, we should not have multiple levels of nesting and we'll keep our database shallow. But for now, let's do this traditional way. In today's video, we are going to learn how to display next and previous posts on our page. To do this, we are going to uh, need to add two buttons into our post container. So go back to your post container component. Over here, as you know, this is uh, how we are receiving posts. But we are going to add two more functions over here as well. Let's just first add the buttons. So I'm going to add next and previous button over here. I'll just put it inside a div. So first button, I'm going to keep it as next posts. And this will have a collect method. We'll add a function over here afterwards and we'll load previous posts. I'm going to add a new function over here called next posts. Basically, this function will be triggered from our button. All right, going back to our post service. In the post service, we are having a method over here, or you could call it as public API, get post. Rather than this, we are going to rename this. Also, we are going to refactor this. Uh, I'm going to remove this and rather pass a object over here called query and query is going to be firebase options list factory options and i'll name this as get all posts since we are getting all the posts over here by default if we don't pass any query by default it will load all the posts and i'll just remove this console log over here so get all post also update it uh, update the same into your post container component and rather than loading all the post we are going to pass a query query object over here so this is going to be a query so we want specifically want to limit this to first post and we are going to pass number uh, let's just add a private variable over here. And this is going to be 5. And just pass it over here. Alright, let's see how it looks. Alright, everything is working fine. I'm going to add a method over here called load next posts. Or I will say load next page since we are loading all the posts. Same thing, we are going to pass uh, its string over here. This is going to be a key of the last post on our existing page. That means this last post will be on this page. We have to get the key of this post, which is this key, and we have to pass it to the load next post and we are going to tell the firebase database that start at this key so start at this specific key and give me the next five posts so let's implement our load next post method over here now load next page and we have to first pass start at so this is going to be the key and we are just going to mention it as string and the limit okay if you don't pass the limit we are going to set it default to five this will return us get all posts in this case we are going to pass a query again so we are going to limit it to first 
five posts but we are going to start at the start at so we are going to start at this key whatever we receive and we are going to load the next five posts you can even omit this and simply just keep it like this it's available to you uh, under ES6 Let's implement this function into our post page component so going back to post container component under this function over here remember we need the key of the last post so we are going to get this from our posts observable also remember uh, to have publish replay added to your post observable so what I mean by that is in future even if we try to load this post twice or maybe subscribe it multiple times it will only make one server request all right let's just implement the load next page method from our post service which require you to have a start at key and a limit we already have a limit but to get the start at key I'll just name it over here we'll need to get it from posts basically we'll need to subscribe to it since this is an observable so this is an array we need the last post so post dot length minus one will give us the last array and we need the key of that and we are going to assign that to start at variable which we created and we are going to pass it over here and this observable we have to assign it over here like this but this is kind of a bad code so I'm going to do something better now rather than making two different requests we can just simply delete this and we are going to subscribe to the post over here first and we are going to use something called switch map We have learned about switch map in the previous videos. So switch map carries the value received from the observable. So we are getting all the posts. And we are going to return this post service observable over here. You can even write this in one line. But I'm going to write it in two lines to make it more readable so start at is going to be the key of the last post dot dollar key and we are just going to pass it over here it's telling me to use constant all right perfect and let's see how it looks and if I hit on next post all right it's getting a lag or maybe there is a lot of delay the reason for that is if you go back to the post service over here we are trying to load the post and we are going to tell it that start at this key but we didn't tell it to order it by key so we are going to add a property over here called order by key and set it to true and when you go back to your application now and if you click on next post it's working fine and it's faster now all right so that's it from this video you can go ahead and implement the previous post it's very simple so in the next video we'll learn how to load post from a specific user right now we are loading post from any random user or any user which is in the database as per the indexing but what if if you want to load from a specific user so stay right there and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.